case 2 of integration using partial fraction. So he said for case 2 is when the degree of the numerator is lesser than the degree of the denominator. As you can see, degree here is 1, degree here is 2. So the degree of the numerator is lesser than that of the denominator. What do you do here? You resolve this into partial fraction, then integrate through. How? So your first task here is pick pick 5x all over 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 and resolve into partial fraction. Alright. Um, so, remember the partial fraction. Um, I'll leave a link to partial fraction in the description of this video. Right. So let's get some done. Uh, so, for partial fraction, our first task is to take this one up, your denominator, which is 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Resolve this map. Of course, this one here is quadratic. If I resolve this, it gives you what that? X what? X minus 2. And what do you mean there? 2x plus 1. So I have this. My next task will now be to get the form of the partial fraction. Remember how we do form. So for this one, it becomes what there? 5x all over 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to a over this a bit. So a all over x minus 2 plus b into what there? 2x plus 1. Right. So I have this one here. Now it depends on the method of partial fraction you want to use. Of course, for this one here, I'll have to combine these two. So I'll have that 5x all over 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to, if I'm combining this, this goes with this, as I said, it becomes a into 2x plus 1 plus this goes with this, b into x minus 2. Then combine these two, that gives you x minus 2 into 2x plus 1. So I have this. Uh, my next task will now be equating numerators. Equating numerators. What have I got there? I have that 5x is equal to a into 2x plus 1 plus b into x minus 2. So I have this case here. Um, which one of the easier? Cover up which one? Hmm? Which one of the easier? Um, you can just compare coefficient now, but cover up is easier, right? Yes. Let's cover up and just let this mark here. So let's use cover up method. You can use your normal comparing coefficient, multiply and that stuff. But you know, you know how cover up works, now, right? Yes. Let's use cover up. So to save time, using cover up, we need this one here. So using cover up method. We said the idea of cover up is just simple. Um, what should this stuff very well? You see a kind of term that you can use to make one of the variables zero. That's the idea behind cover up. If I look at this here, this is b multiplying this. Let's assume I want to make this one zero. What do I do? Equate this term to zero. So I'll say that x minus 2 is equal to zero. From here, this man comes here, x is equal to 2. That means if I put x as 2 into this equation here, this man will be 0 and b will go off. So from cover, I'll say let x be equal to 2. So this now becomes, if I put x as 2 into this, this becomes 5 times 2 is equal to a into 2 times 2, of course, plus 1, plus b into 2 minus 2. So I have this. 
What is like that? 5 times 2 is 10, is equal to 8. Into 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. That's 5 plus b into 2 minus 2 is 0. From here, I can see that 10 is equal to this and this, 5a. b times 0 is 0 is up. I can simply get in here, divided by 5, divided by 5. This cancel this. So a is equal to 10 over 5, this one, yeah? So cover the short. Gives the answer very fast. So a is 2. Let's see use cover up to eliminate this one here. So we can get b. Look at this. To eliminate b here, we equated this to 0. To eliminate a, the same thing. Equate this to 0. So equate 2x plus 1 to 0. I'll have that. 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Get x here. Yeah? Move this one over here. 2x is equal to minus 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So if I put x as 1 over 2 into this equation, it will eliminate a and give me value for b. So let's put x as, so put x, put x as equal to minus 1 over 2 into this equation. So that gives you 5 into x minus 1 over 2 is equal to a into 2 times minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus b into x minus 1 over 2 minus 2. Let's put x as minus 1 over 2 here. Same thing here. Same thing here. This now gives you minus 5 over 2. This one is equal to a into from here. This cancels this is off. It becomes 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 plus 1 plus b into uh, what do you have here? This is minus 1 minus 5 over 2. The surface. I said your shortcut is just to be 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 1 minus 1 gives you minus 5 over 2. So like a shortcut way of simplifying this. So this of having minus 5 over 2 is equal to a into minus 1 plus 1. That's 0. Um, plus times minus minus 5 times b. 5b all over 2. So this of 0. And left is minus 5 over 2 being equal to minus 5b all over 2. Just by mathematical sense, minus can cancel minus. If I have the same term on both sides, so far they are multiplying, they can cancel out. So minus cancels minus is up. 5 cancels 5 is up. 2 cancels 2 from left to one here. Alright. From here now, b is equal to 1. So I have this. If you want to, you can still do your normal basic maths, right? Fear one. But simple concept. The same thing here, that cancel out give you one. So hence, A is 2, B is 1. Alright. If I put these two values here, I will now have that 5x all over. 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to a. a is 2, so it becomes 2 all over this one here, x minus 2, next up, plus b, becomes plus b is 1, so it becomes 1 all over 2x plus 1. So if I resolve this into partial fraction, I'll have this. Alright, so from this, let's integrate to, so hence, hence, it means that the integral of 5x all over 
2x squared minus 3x minus 2 dx to be equal to the integral of 2 all over x minus 2 plus the integral of 1 all over 1 all over 2x plus 1. Of course, each of them is dx. Uh, yes. So how is this one? It's equal to, we said, take constant then outside into the outside. Constant here is 2. It becomes 2 integral of 1 all over x minus 2 dx plus um, having here, this 2 here is not a constant. Alright, so it gives you integral 1 all over 2x plus 1. Yes. Uh, we know what this one gives you. That's equal to 2. This gives you what then? Lean x minus 2. Plus, this one gives you lean. Observe here is still linear. It's still by 1. So it's still linear. So it gives you what then? 2x plus 1. Next up, plus c. This becomes the answer. This is the So the task is simple. Resolve this to partial fraction, then it will be true. That's how you solve this question.